Om JJ Saima. I honor the divine feminine in you and in me. Welcome to this global webinar on purifying and illuminating our energetic bodies. And my name is Sri Devi, and I'll be facilitating this webinar along with Rajeshri Dasi. We're both members of Saima's monastic order, the Order of Saima Brahmacharya, as well as Saima teachers. And I'm joining this webinar today from the Saima Center in Santiago, Chile. And Rajeshri is in Tokyo, where she is the director of Ma's organization in Japan. And we're delighted to be with you today to share this important knowledge. And we have over a thousand people who have registered to be on this webinar with us, which is also being translated into four languages. So we see that this is really vital language, uh, vital information that we're all so eager for at this time. And so on this call today, uh, we'll share with you more about the teachings of how to purify and illuminate our energetic bodies. In a few minutes, I'll share about why this information is so relevant right now, so essential for where we are on the planet. And then Rajeshri Dasi will share more about what are our energetic bodies and why is it important to work with them and how do we work with them. And we'll share with you a practice and some specific techniques that we can use to really empower each one of us to do this work, to really take responsibility and ownership for the state of our consciousness and our energy field. And then the second half of our webinar will guide you into a powerful practice so that each one of us can do this work right here together today to illuminate the chakras, the subtle bodies, to activate the higher chakras, and to work in building the crystalline light body. So welcome, thank you so much for being with us here today. And I'm gonna invite us to enter into this call in a place of awareness. If you wish, you can close your eyes, just move, the awareness inward. Taking a few conscious breaths without even needing to change our position. Just let us start to become aware of the energy that is present within us. We are energy. Our cells are vibrating. Our energy field is vibrating in this moment. And see if with your awareness, you can move into a sense of that movement of energy within you. And notice how simply in becoming aware, something begins to expand. Maybe we could even say something begins to relax within us, to be more present with ourselves, with what is here for us in this moment. And in that awareness, slowly opening your eyes. And I invite us to continue to be inside of that inquiry of ourselves as energy, even as you're listening to Rajeshri and I speaking, feeling into your own energy, your state of your energy. As we've shared, Saima has emphasized more so in the last weeks, months, the importance of us taking responsibility 
for the state of our energy and our consciousness. And this past March, I had the great opportunity to travel to Japan to attend and offer seva for two advanced programs that Ma was offering there. And the knowledge that I received in that week was knowledge that in my 15 years of being with Ma, I hadn't received before. And it's such a joy to be able to today be with you here to share that for all of us so that we all can receive this essence of this knowledge so that we can know how to work with our own energy field. And in that working with our own energy field, really move into that next level of responsibility where I feel like I know not only how to illuminate, but I am also aware of the state of my chakras, the state of my subtle bodies. And so, as I mentioned, we'll be sharing a practice today that Ma shared during the time in Japan. And I wanna to speak to why this is being offered now. Why are we offering this webinar today? Why is Saima bringing this knowledge forth to us now where we are? As many of us have heard Saima speak to, we are in a powerful cycle. Humanity is in a powerful cycle of seven years. And we're in the second year of the seven year cycle where there's going to be and there is great transformation and what we call transfiguration of the consciousness of humanity and the very essence of the energy and the matter that we experience on our planet and that we also experience within our own bodies. And as we know, last year, Saima offered the Saima 108 Mahayagya, which was so much about clearing these energies from the planet. And now in this second year, now it's, Time for us to move deeper into that purification, clearing, elevating of our own energy field. And why is this so important? We can see that around us on the planet, there's a certain level of chaos. There's a certain level of confusion. We could even call it darkness that's coming to surface to be illuminated. And you may have experienced this inside of you as well old emotions and thoughts and different things coming to surface. And for those of us dedicated to really bringing and manifesting a new consciousness on the planet, it's so important that we find a way to be aligned, to be centered at this time of chaos at this time when the consciousness of humanity is being shaken is being awakened and to really serve the role that I know we are all called to play in manifesting a new reality on this planet. We must do the work to clear ourselves so that we can stay aligned and centered. And our chakras and our subtle bodies have a direct impact on the state of our consciousness. As we'll speak to in a moment, these energetic bodies serve as a sort of filter or as a lens. And when we're living from that old information from our past, we see through that lens, we could say through that clouded lens, which keeps us in a certain state of limitation, in a state of illusion. And so the work of clearing these chakras of elevating the frequency of these lenses through which we perceive ourselves and the world, we open ourselves to really live the possibility to manifest our birthright, which is a state of absolute freedom, of absolute joy and peace. And so this is why this information is so vital right now for us to be able to do this work, to really move into that next level. 
And so this work with the chakras and the subtle bodies will be a primary focus for our community this year. And this work is really culminating or leading up to the Global Unity Gathering with Saima in December, December 7th through 10th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And so this time when we come together from around the world to be with Ma for the first program that Saima has offered outside of Japan this year, will be a time to really propel us to accelerate our evolution to the next level. And so our goal that we would like to propose to all of our community is that we really take on this work of illuminating, purifying our energy bodies so that when we arrive in Fort Lauderdale in December, we're in a place of such clarity and alignment that together as a community, Ma can bring us even higher. That's the invitation, that's really the context to inspire us for this work. And again, I want to emphasize that it's not just for us personally to be able to thrive or even survive, we can say, in this chaotic time. It's also really about each one of us owning our role as leaders, owning our role as leaders for global enlightenment. And for that, we need to be in that state of purification, of clarity, of illumination. Om Jeje Sai Ma. Thank you, Sri Devi. So to begin with, I'd like to take us into the work of the chakras and the subtle bodies and to share some information. Sai Ma took us through this work when Ma was with um, our community here in Japan in March. And the work was so powerful. The work with the chakras, the 12 chakras, and the subtle bodies, moving into a whole new level of the subtle bodies, has been building and building as our community has been working with this meditation daily. We've, we're seeing incredible shifts and changes occurring, and it brings me great, great joy to be able to share this work with our global community. So to begin with, I'd like to share about the chakras so we have a, a mutual understanding. But these chakras, we have chakras in our body, in our physical, that are related to our physical body. Generally, they're in seven colors and located in seven locations in our body. They're considered gateways and filters for information that we receive through the cosmos, and they give us information about our incarnation. We work with these chakras. Each chakra, each, each ray has a ray of light that has different levels of information. For example, the root chakra, which is at the base of the spine, has information about our relationship with the planet, to our surroundings, to our community. It is also where we live in that place of survival at times. It shows us our relationship to the earth. The second chakra, which is often called this, the uh, sacral chakra, is where we store information about family, relationships, our sexuality and emotions. The third chakra about our will, our personal will and our divine will and our personal power. The fourth chakra, our heart. This is where we have the movement from what we know as the human heart, like our love for a loved one, a love for food, uh, a love of a landscape. These human, this human love would be considered conditional because it changes. What we may love today may change tomorrow. But within that heart is also divine love, a divine heart, a heart of love that never changes, be it a million years from now, no conditions. 
as we move into these higher frequencies, there's a membrane between the human and the divine love, which begins to dissolve. Once the divine love takes over fully, then we start moving in to our divine aspect of who we are. Then we have the fifth chakra, which is at our throat. And the fifth chakra right now for humanity is one of the most important places. It is where we speak our truth. It is where we are, I am, that I am. I am love, I am joy, I am creation itself. As we clear this chakra and start working and moving into the higher frequencies of this chakra, we start to manifest our potential of our true nature on this planet. And then the sixth chakra, which is the first eye. This is where in the Bible it says, when thine eye be single, thy full body shall be filled with light where we come back to see everything into the unity of creation. This is where we can, this is where the gate, we see the gateway beyond this reality. We can pierce the veil beyond this plane to other planes, planes where our higher self resides, where we can see the multidimensionality of who we are. And then the crown chakra, the seventh chakra, the 999 petals. This is our state of oneness. This chakra is unique in that it has never gone into duality. It has never gone into to the separation or the maya of the third dimension. And because it is the chakra of unity and oneness, it is the gateway through which we connect with which we are in one and in alignment with the totality of our being. Joyfulness and playfulness are important aspects of this particular chakra. This is a place where, where we are innocent and joyful as a child. As they say, as a child, we can enter through the kingdom of God. The Antakarana, which is a golden tube of light connecting us to our higher realms, to the higher self, to our higher presence, to our multidimensional self. This enters through the crown chakra and anchors in our heart. Because without the love of the heart, of the divine heart, we cannot move through this gateway. Because of free will and the duality nature of, our, nature of our existence, these energy filters, the chakras from the first through the sixth, has split into a duality. The chakras can carry energy both of love, expansion, our true nature, but also contracting energies of fear, based on duality and separation. So these are the energies that we need to purify, the fear-based that are not our true nature, that we need to purify and clear the lens of these chakras because these are lenses, these are gateways for energy to come to in, into our whole being and for us to receive the higher level, level energies of our true nature the contracting fear-based energies must be dissolved. In addition to these subtle bodies, to these chakras, we have subtle bodies around the physical body. The physical body itself is the densest part of our body. But we actually have many energetic bodies that are superimposed upon each other. Right outside of the physical body, we have an etheric body. As you see here, there's a, there's a light gray blue body very close to the, to the physical body. This etheric body carries the informational 
blueprint of the physical body. It has all the information that then is, becomes present and is shown in the physical body. Then we have the emotional body. The emotional body, like the chakras, can hold the duality of both the lower emotions, of, of fear, of jealousy, of anger, of sadness, of unworthiness, but it could also hold the high divine emotions of loving, caring, of the purity. And these higher frequencies of the emotion body are what we're, we're, what we're striving for here. Similarly with the mental body, we have all the thoughts of our day-to-day -day life, everything that, all the thoughts that, the hundreds and, and thousands of thoughts that go through our mind every day that are connected to this third dimensional realm of contracting thoughts, worries, and these. And then we have also the ability to hold the divine thoughts of the mind of God. We have that ability to have the mind of God fully in our, our mental body and to be resourced from that divine brain, the divine knowledge and the divine mental body. And we have the causal body, the body that holds all of our karma. We are incarnate upon this planet because any karma we create in this planet, be it negative or positive, needs to be resolved here and balanced. And so all of the negative karma that we may have had in the previous lifetimes or this lifetime, karma being that cause and effect, any energy we put out, an equal energy comes back to us until it is all completed and balanced. So this karma, any negative karma, any contracting karma also needs to be cleared and expanded into the, the, into, the, into the high frequency karma, the karma of God, of light that has brought us together here today. And then we have the spiritual body, the spirit body, the body where we hold our spiritual agreements. The spiritual agreements are those agreements that we've made over lifetimes. It could have been an agreement we made several lifetimes ago where we said, I will no longer receive any money. I, I will go into the monastery and, and, and relinquish all um, attachments to the outer world. And that might, that might not be serving us anymore today. Or there, may, there are many, many other agreements that we no longer remember. So through the light, we need to dissolve any agreements that no longer serve us and, to, and to, to strengthen those and bring light to those agreements that we wish to bring forth now. The agreements to serve the light, to be the light, to move forward into that process of enlightenment. And as we move through these bodies and enlighten these bodies and clarify and clear these bodies, then we have the opportunity to, to create something different. Because all of these bodies, these chakras, these subtle bodies are interconnected and inform our whole being, our whole existence upon this planet today. Because of the universal laws that govern our existence and experience, as long as these, these uh, universal laws are laws such as the laws of resonance or the law of attraction. Whatever frequency we hold in our energetic bodies, these chakras, these subtle bodies, we attract those frequencies. If they're low frequencies and fear-based, that's what we attract to us. And if they're high frequencies, that's what we attract to us. So here, the practice that we're, we'll be bringing to everybody today is about 
moving out of these lower denser energies these thoughts these actions these are things that we took in at a very early stage in our environment these are things that we took in to survive but they're not who we are they are not as we purify and dissolve these lower denser energies and begin to activate the higher frequencies within us we activate the energies of our true self So in this work, in addition to these seven chakras and these subtle bodies associated with the seven chakras, we have chakras beyond the physical body. We have an eighth chakra, which is located about six or eight inches above our crown chakra. This chakra is already enlightened. It's full of knowledge. It's full of beauty, love, and grace, and it is pure consciousness. All of the higher chakras are chakras of perfection. Each a higher frequency than the one before it. So as we move from the seventh to the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh chakra and beyond, we are in a realm of chakras that are untouched by the duality and separation of this third dimensional realm. They are full of light, love, and are of a very high frequency. They are part of who we are in a higher realm. The us is a supreme being. As we are becoming aware of these chakras and move into them, then they start informing the physical chakras of our body and start raising the frequency of our chakras. We can enjoy them, we can breathe them in. The seventh chakra, the chakra of the crown, where we are back into the unity consciousness is the gateway to these higher chakras. As I mentioned, through the Antakarana, we move from the seventh chakra into the higher chakras. They extend all the way back to source. As we move into these chakras and the energy and, and vibration, we ascend more and more. And as we approach the 12th chakra, we move into our light bodies and into the fifth dimensional body. This is where our whole light body becomes a temple. We become loving, caring, full and complete in a state of pure consciousness, prosperity consciousness, all knowing. This is a completely different plane of existence for us. This is where we welcome the fifth dimension in our brain, in our humanness, in our personality, in our earthly chakras and emotions. The more our emotions move into a higher frequency, the more pure love and devotion will be in our lives. So from the crown chakra, we will with intent move into each chakra, anchoring, anchoring our awareness in each one of them, inviting them to inform our lower chakras of our body, raise our frequency into the fifth dimensional presence, bringing our whole light body into a new level of fullness. And from there, as we bring this energy through all of our, our subtle bodies, we will begin activating our crystalline light body. Like millions of tiny crystal faucets sparkling together in a cluster throughout our light body. This activation begins the process of moving our bodies from its current carbon state to a silicon state. Carbon and silicon are two elements very, right next to each other in the periodic table. They seem so different, and yet the shift from the one to the other is a natural progression that we are now undergoing. The denser carbon structure to the structure of light. A structure where information can be transmitted 
at the speed of light. Imagine our bodies like super light living computers processing all of the knowledge and wisdom of the universe instantaneously. This is where we are headed. This is where Ma is bringing us. We will activate this crystalline body by purifying, illuminating our chakras, higher chakras, subtle bodies, raising our frequency to high, high frequency of light. And for this, we must be in our hearts, in our hearts, experiencing the divine love that we all are. This love together with the light will move into our subtle bodies, activating the crystalline body and spreading this to all of our subtle bodies. And then into the crystalline body, we will be bringing in and activating the substance of plasma. Plasma is the fundamental energy that is the base of all creation. The substance of the sun, the most powerful Shakti in existence. As we activate, this plasma in our crystalline bodies, we activate the power of creation within us. This together with the divine love, the love of Ma, the love of Master, the love of Mary Magdalene, the love of the ascended masters and all the cosmic beings. This will allow us to ascend to the fullness of who we truly are. This is so needed at this time on the planet. Ma, Ma is doing the work now, day and night, preparing us for these realms, preparing these realms so we may enter them fully. Are we ready to step into the wholeness of who we truly are? If yes, then let us move forward together and activate these centers and frequencies within us. Mm, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I love how just in listening to Rajeshwari and looking at these images, I can feel that happening inside of me. And it reminds me of the power of our own mind. And this is something as we prepare now to practice this together in a few minutes, I want to speak to some of the components that we will use in this practice. And Ma has really emphasized using our intent, using the higher functioning of our mind, what Ma refers to as the higher mental body, to create this possibility, to ask our higher chakras to pour their light into the lower chakras, to illuminate the lower chakras, to build the crystalline body, any of these things that will be guiding us into. We can use the power of our higher mind, our higher mental body to create that. And what Ma spoke to in Japan is that even the sense of visualizing can sometimes have it be as if it's something outside of us. But when we use our mind to make it so, meaning instantly, in a second, with faith, with that focus, a chakra is illuminated. We use our intent. And Ma has said, this is how the enlightened masters and the ascended masters work and create, using the higher mental body. So that's an important aspect that we'll speak to as we guide us in the practice. We'll also be using a Kriya a specific breath practice that Ma has offered us to activate that dormant light within us, to activate that power inherent in each and every one of us, to awaken that and use that as a momentum, use it as a light to illuminate and purify, to elevate each one of these chakras and subtle bodies. And this Kriya breath in today's practice will be using in each one of the chakras. So we're focusing with our intention, with our intent, with our mind. We focus in the chakra. We know it to be illuminated as we practice this breath, which I'll teach in a moment. 
And then we'll have a short pause in between each chakra. So this is how we'll move starting from the root chakra all the way up. As Rajeshwari said, beginning always with the heart, beginning from that love before moving into this work of illumination. And there, as we illuminate the lower chakras, we'll work, move our awareness into to become aware of and move in the presence of these higher chakras up into the 12th chakra. And really call on these chakras to continue to illuminate and purify the lower six chakras associated with the physical form. And then we'll move through each one of the, the subtle bodies, again, using that powerful Kriya breath, pausing between each one as we'll guide, and then moving from there to consciously build the crystalline light body. So we'll be guiding you through all of this, but I wanted to give a sense of where we're going and the different components of the practice. So the Kriya breath is a powerful exhale through the mouth and we'll have the mouth open as if we're making, and we will be making the sound ha. So we have the mouth open and the, the power of this breath is really coming from the abdomen, right? So with this powerful exhale, ha, 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 ha. The abdomen is drawn inward and there's this pulsating in our abdomen as we're focusing on that powerful exhale, making the sound ha. And you can do this if you are in a space where you can make noise. Really open your mouth, allow that sound to come through. You'll, you'll feel that, that fiery light that becomes activated within. So as I said, we'll be using this Kriya breath with our focus and intention, each one of the chakras and the subtle bodies. And at the completion of our practice today, we'll conclude the webinar. We welcome you to just spend a few moments, as much time as you have in the silence. Just allow this energy to continue to reverberate within us. Our focus and intent is that we walk inside of this state of illumination so that the work that we do really informs how we're being throughout the day. So with today's practice, as you get up from your computer or your phone, really continue practice, continuing to be in that awareness. And this is this work to illuminate the chakras and subtle bodies is something we invite you and Ma is inviting us to do every day. Even if it takes just a few minutes and we breathe one breath in each chakra in each light body, this is what it takes for us to sustain this state. So much time living in this contraction and duality, there's a habit, patterns that bring us back into that. So we need to consciously, regularly illuminate and elevate the frequencies of these energy bodies so that that becomes our, our natural state in everyday life. So as we move into the practice, again, I wanna thank you so much for being with us on this webinar. It's a joy to share with you. We are so passionate into this, about this time we're moving into as a community and what's really possible for us. And we look so much forward to seeing everyone physically as we come together in December to move to the next level of this work. So in that, I invite us to now move into the meditation. You can close your eyes, draw your awareness inward, body in a comfortable position. And with a few conscious breaths, let us move into the space of the heart. And become aware of, as Rajeshwari spoke to, that divine, sacred heart that we all carry. This heart chakra in the center of our chest, which is a gateway to the magnificence, the purity of our divine self. A few deep breaths in that heart, welcoming the love, 
welcoming the essence, the light of our being with joy to be engaging in this work together. And now we move from that love and with that substance of love, we move our awareness down into the root chakra at the base of the body. Feeling this vortex, this spinning energy vortex in the base of our body. And for a minute together, we'll begin this powerful Kriya breath to activate the light. So concentrating with our intent, illuminating the root chakra. And from there, we'll move up through all the chakras. So let us begin. Ha. And relaxing the breath. Feeling this chakra beginning to spin with the light. Each facet of the chakra transforming into light. The root becoming clearer and clearer, liberating this density of survival, fear. As we move up into the sacral chakra, And in this sacral chakra, using our mind, using our intent to create a sacral chakra vibrant with light, vibrant light, in the area of our sacrum, our pelvis. Let us breathe together. Ha, 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 ha. Powerful breath, continuing to breathe. Ha, 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 ha. Relaxing the breath. Feeling that activation, feeling that inner fire becoming awakened as we move upward, upward into the solar plexus chakra, the center of power, the power of the self, the power of love. Instantly begin to illuminate this chakra, to make it pure, to make it clear as we breathe in the solar plexus. Ha, 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 ha. And feeling that light of these now illuminated lower chakras moving upward, moving up through the spine through the Eden Pingala, these two channels of energy moving on either side of the chakras, which are spinning as we move into the heart. This brilliant light, the sun in the heart, activating with our breath. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Relaxing the breath. And if you wish, at any moment, you can open your eyes and see these images. See this activated image as you envision, as you mirror that illumination in your own chakras, moving into the throat the center of expression, the center of claiming our divinity. I am divine. 
breathing a light, breathing this power to illuminate the throat. And we continue to breathe, moving into the first eye between the eyebrows, opening this vision of the divine, of our divine self. And relaxing the breath. Roll your eyes upward and touch the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. All of your senses drawing upward, upward to look up at the crown chakra. This chakra which exists in a state of absolute purity, enlightened. 999 petals of light opening up to receive the magnificence of the I am, the presence that you are, that I am. The majesty of this crown chakra. with your awareness, with your higher mental body, move into the presence of the crown chakra. And continuing this upward movement through the crown, up the antakrana, this tube of light, to about six to seven inches above the head. to move into this eighth chakra. This chakra which is connected to the entire physical body in a state of purity. And in these chakras, the vibration, the essence of joy is so alive in presence. You can even say a playfulness. We move into the higher dimensions of ourself. Experience this eighth chakra above the head. With your intent, drawing the light from this eighth, from this eighth chakra into the lower chakras associated with the physicality. Continue moving with your awareness upward, upward to the ninth chakra, moving up the antakarana to experience the light, the presence of the ninth chakra. Let us feel a devotion as we enjoy this higher dimension of ourselves. Each one of these higher chakras so vibrant, each one a higher frequency than the next. With this translucent light in each one. Continuing to move up this antakrana, using the light of the antakrana to move us upward into the 10th chakra. And allowing ourselves to relax into this higher dimensionality of ourselves. Truly in that joy to meet ourselves, meet our essence.
Let us ask this chakra, let us speak to this 10th chakra, asking it to pour its light, to illuminate our entire being, to pour its presence, its consciousness into the lower six chakras. Beginning to create this mirror image of the higher chakras with the lower chakras, each one vibrating with light, with purity, with pure presence of divine consciousness. And moving up as we feel the Antikrana becoming brighter, a stronger light, using our higher mental body to move into the 11th chakra. This chakra that prepares us for living in the fifth dimension. Become aware of this magnificence within your own being. Life in the fifth dimension, a life of unity, oneness. And again, asking that light and that consciousness to flood through our entire chakra system. And seeing, feeling, knowing each one of these 11 chakras now to be completely vibrant, translucent light, so that the purity of our divinity shines through as we welcome the light of the 12th chakra. We welcome the presence of the 12th chakra. Experiencing our own chakras now as temples of light. With such an exquisite beauty, magnificence within our own system. Continuing to breathe. Now we will begin to purify and illuminate the subtle bodies. We'll be moving back into the Kriya breath and breathing through the Antakarana into the body, the light into the heart, into the body, and this light now out into the etheric body. The Subtle body closes into the physical body. Let us begin to breathe. Taking a deep breath in. Continuing purifying the etheric body of any distortions, any lower frequency energies that we're holding in, in this body. Ha, 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 and relaxing the breath, breathing in, allowing the higher energy frequencies to spread out through the etheric body. Activating the divine frequencies of light into the etheric body. As we now prepare to move into the emotional body. Again, moving into the creative breath. Ha, 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 
continuing. Ha, divine emotions, the caringness, the compassion, the joy, the tenderness, the higher frequency emotions come in and expand through our emotional body. And now breathing into the mental body, continuing the breath. Ha, 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 ha. Clearing out all the lower frequency thoughts, the judgments, the doubts, ha, the jealousy, all of the thoughts that stop us from moving forward into the light, the light body, the light that we are, our true selves. Ha, 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 ha. And relaxing the breath while expanding the light into the mental body, the mental body of God, the brain of God, higher thoughts, or bringing the supra consciousness thoughts into our mental body of light, of clarity, Breathing in, into that mental body, bringing more and more light powerfully and expanding it out through the mental body. And now taking a breath and breathing into the causal body. Clearing past karma, karma that no longer serves. Activating the karma of light, of God, of the divine. Intensifying that light throughout the causal body. And now breathing into the spirit body. Clearing all spiritual agreements of past, present, and future that no longer serve. <laughs> Purifying all of this out of our spiritual body. <laughs> Activating our spiritual agreements of light, of remembering the light, of serving the light to the highest. Breathe that in, expanding that light throughout the spirit body. And 
Now breathing deeply into the light body. This light body encompasses all of the subtle bodies and the 12 chakras. Imagine that light body all around you and, it, and igniting that light body, pure, pure, pure frequency of light. Encompassing the fifth dimensional being, fifth, fifth dimensional body, activating that fully now. <sighs> Breathing into this light body from your heart, your divine heart, the heart of God, the love of Ma, that devotion of Mary Magdalene for Master Jesus, that devotion of Ma for us, our devotion to Ma, to God, to the light, breathe it. Now together with our love, we're breathing through all of our subtle bodies, pushing that light, pushing that light, expanding that light powerfully, now powerfully, now more powerfully, and now igniting that crystalline light body. Millions of faucets of crystals now igniting, pulsating into the light body. Ah, 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 ah. And feel that the crystal and light body expanding throughout all of our chakras, all of our subtle bodies, all of our 12 chakras, through our whole being. Light body pulsating, pulsating, clusters of millions of millions of crystals radiating their light. The light beyond any light that we may have experienced before. Brilliant, shining, crystalline light. The breath pushing it, activating it, expanding that light. Make of our bodies a kingdom of light, a kingdom of God, a kingdom of the divine. We lack nothing. We are eternal beings. We've never died. We've never been birthed. We have always been. And now anchoring that light, our crystalline body. Anchoring the crystalline body firmly in all of our subtle bodies, all of our chakras. Now, and now breathing into this crystal night structure that we have the energy of plasma, the substance of creation itself, the substance of the sun, the most powerful shakti of creation. Breathe it in now into our crystalline bodies, igniting the power of creation in our light bodies, in our cells, Feel that pulsation of creation buzzing in every cell of our bodies. I am light. I am creation. I am pure consciousness in manifestation, in action. Breathe it. Own it. Be it. I am that. Om J J Saima. J J Saima.